Yes. <gasps> what do you say? I have two. No, 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 no. You had others who've never uh, been born, you know. You still have children in heaven. Because yeah. for sure, the moment you have conceived, because we believe that's a life human being. Yes, begins happens at conception. At conception. That's a human being. I think I was very really pissed off with my husband in the beginning because he wasn't showing any sign of remorse, any sign of sadness. He, yeah. If anything, he delved so much into work. Yeah. I was like, am I the only one who's feeling this yeah. pain? Where are you in all yeah. this? Honestly, I, I don't I, like how we normalize losing. Yeah. It shouldn't be normal yeah. to have miscarriages. Yes. I think, yes, it, it happens to a lot of women. One out of but four. It sh- yes, but mm. it shouldn't be normal. I know they say a lot of chromosomal dis- but it's assumption. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. If you are a new podcast listener, thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of the Wheat Podcast. This is just a segment to delve deeper into issues. We ask ourselves, what is that? So today I have a very exciting guest. Oh my God, you guys loved her in my previous YouTube video with her. And even me, I love her. Guy, I hope she loves me too, but I, I love her energy. And I'm so happy and honored that you've made time to come. Hey, kukupata, nani Tuesday. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Tuesdays are our yeah. worst days. So like when before you call her, just make your prayers. Prayer, like, make your prayer. Uh, please kuna, God, make, kuna make, make line her answer. Yeah, kuna line. <laughs> Wow, sana soila. Thank you so much, Maggie, for having me here. Mm-hmm. I'm really honored Yay. to be here again. I'm, I'm so Not happy. just for YouTube, but also yeah. for your podcast. Yes. To have this in-depth conversations in, depth, yes. in things that matter. Yeah. So first of all, congratulations for starting Thank it. Thank you. And taking the bull step. So hard, yeah. yeah, my name is Soila. Yeah. Um, Soila Katis, if you want, because every time somebody asks me, what's your name? And I'm like, Soila, ukona jina moja tu kama kuku. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So hey, Katis is my name now. There are three. Is Katis <laughs> your name? Katis is my husband's name. So what? Okay, are you Soila Wamalwa or I'm Soila Katis Wamalwa. Wow, you took two names. Two names. I love that man that had. <laughs> mm, two Ooh. names. I mean, you can two of mine. I'm Magidana Bis. Yes, <laughs> you see? Hey, but if only to work, I never knew Katis. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. him is Jimmy Katis. Yeah. Yeah, no, because I'm Billy English, James Katis. So his name is James Katis. But i um, been married for a while now. Mm. Mom. Mm-hmm. To two, two amazing children. Amazing children. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I also love you. Please don't Aww. don't confuse it. I love you so much, Maggie. <laughs> you have given me industry notes and wisdom, yeah. you know, during yeah. our tea times. Yeah. So this is good for me. I'm happy yeah. to be here for sure. Yeah. For sure. Again and again. Again and again. again, and again. Call again. me again. Hadi wabo eke. Hadi wabo eke. Hadi wabo eke. Hadi wabo eke. Hadi wabo yeah, requested. So to, yeah. Yes, request accepted. So if you want to check her out, check her Instagram oh, page. Yeah. So Ila Kati. So Ila Kati. So I'm actually We do content personally. Okay, with my husband, we do content on marriage, yes. relationships, and family. Yeah. But myself, content around motherhood. Anything to do about anything womanhood. to do with womanhood. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. The, yeah, that's why I love to yeah. have these conversations yeah. with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The woman perspective. Yeah. So today we are talking about something very personal to Woof. in both our lives. Woof. Something deep. <laughs> when you need a letter tissue, <laughs> but <laughs> We were even asking, ah, this, is there a tissue like here? Like we, we won't cry. <laughs> we, 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 we shall not cry. And if it, we cry, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, yeah. So we're going to talk about miscarriages. Oof. We delve deep into mm. what is that. Mm. And it's just not the definition. It's just the experience of miscarriages. Because um, yeah. I think in Kenya, you're the only content, the first content creator whose content on miscarriage I came across. Mm. When I was... Deep into the trenches of oh shit, yeah, what's this? yeah, what's this? So, um, I I believe many people have 
interacted with that video of yours of your miscarriages that you've had but is there is there a way you can just share a bit of it Ooh. For, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. i am really i really don't want like taking you back no, there fine, yeah, of yeah course, but it's fine, for the new listeners mm. just what experience did mm. you have yeah i think in brief mm. i have lost four mm-hmm. so i've had four miscarriages consecutively before Ooh. now giving birth to my first one mm-hmm. and um for me first time it was strange because mm. i knew i was pregnant mm. i don't know if i knew if i was pregnant yes i think i because i missed my periods mm. and then this time i was hosting friends in the house and then a sharp cramp i experienced it and i was like okay let me go to the bathroom and then i see super red blood Ooh. and i'm like what's this you know and mm. um took i think went got a pad got back to the living room served tea it's how you're supposed yes. to just continue. continue with life the rest don't understand what's happening yeah so got back to the living room continued serving tea and then they left i remember telling now my husband around you years. held it in yeah i did we had guests uh, oh, in the is it house. that you were processing i was processing because there's, there's well, the denial you know there's Ooh. also the aspect of you know there's there's, there's um, denial like denial. is it really like happening? this is just the bleeding yeah. you know when they say spotting. attachment spotting spotting but this is too super red and a lot yeah. and then the pain is too much and yeah. i'm like ah there's there's hope there's hope mm-hmm. and went stayed with them at 8 pm that's when i'm telling him i was like wait what um let's do this let's talk to the doctor mm. we texted him is like Okay, if you're experiencing something like that, uh, must be a miscarriage. Mm. I think you can probably book in and come. Mm-hmm. How far along were you? I was no, I was at seven weeks, six oh, weeks. Okay, after. Yeah. so come along, and then it's eight. They are not open because mm. like a private sort of clinic. So I couldn't go. Plan for tomorrow, so I went and like, oh yeah, it's like you've gone through a miscarriage. Yeah, the painkillers, um, and it just naturally flashed itself out. Mm. So that was it. Second time. I remember now when I felt the pain and everything I was like this and then I think I was now around 8 weeks as like and I know I'm that ba- trauma. yes I'm familiar with this let me tell you the moment you go you have a miscarriage at 6 weeks Ooh. every time you get to 6 weeks you panic you're panicking yes. you know and even like, before you yes, get to 6 yes. weeks you panic and then by the time I'm yes. done with 6 weeks I'm like oh we've made it and then the yeah, oh, I was like yeah. oh what is this okay. yeah I remember that evening having to call the doctor what again what is this <laughs> wait yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. calling the doctor and telling him like, okay it seems again you're going through a miscarriage please rush to the nearest hospital. Mm-hmm. So I decided to go used to live uko kikuyu. Mm-hmm. Oh, kawaida outskirts. Yes. yes. Bali, bali. I know, maybe I'm bali bali out of town. <laughs> Went yeah. all the way to South Beam to have the, first of all sitting on that waiting area. Mm. Guy, you're bleeding. It, you're bleeding, you're in pain. Mm-hmm. No one is in a hurry. You know, you just you have feel, to go through. You almost feel like, why am I have? Exactly. Why do I have to wait? Exactly. Why do I have to wait? You know, it's something sensitive. Yes. You know, Atta, the I know they had to call the gynecologist. So they apparently gynecologists in that hospital they don't work usiku. Mm. They are just there for till a particular time. So they are called on need basis. Mm-hmm. So he had to be called to his time. I think gynecologist the person who was doing the scan. Mm. Cause now they took I st- I stayed on that waiting area for a very long time. Mm-hmm. People are coming. As in go kwala ni tuka makila mtu. As like honestly, it, it seemed that it's just an emergency to me and my family. To the rest of the people, you nope. know, yep. it's not an emergency. Yes. We will just you're just as unwell as everybody yes, else here. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're coming from an accident to be bleed. Unless you're also visibly in labor. Yes. <laughs> There's also that. Mm-hmm. Even sometimes there are people there are hospitals when if you're invisibly in labor, they'll just ignore you. Mama akachini. Mama, enda uleberia huko bali. You know how <laughs> people. Yeah, utatarakisha hapa. Tulikuwa ko na wewe. You know? <laughs> so um, that one waited for a long time then had finally he came went for a scan so they couldn't see anything mm-hmm. it's like the ray decided flashing properly so they couldn't see anything but when they measured the hcg levels i could say yeah for sure you, you are pregnant. pregnant and it seems like mm-hmm. um it's a, you've had a miscarriage it's like mm-hmm. okay well dawa na kupatia anga tu nenda nyumbani no counseling mm-hmm. no nothing you know try again so you you experienced where you have to go take like a pill or insert no never, no for oh. mine for the first ones okay. for the first few naturally you was not natu- yes because again because it had already mm, started oh, already started so okay. it was just a normal like you're going through periods okay. but heavy periods with clots <laughs> and i remember every time i go change my pads it just remind you you are not just shedding blood you know you're shedding off something that would have been a baby yeah. you know so very 
you finish with your husband, you go back home, take your dawas, and that's it. I think now the third one, I think the fourth one is, the first one is the one that I really didn't feel it as much. The fourth one, no, the fourth one that now came, mm -hmm. but I remember those three clearly because I had to go to the hospital because of how painful they were. Mm -hmm. Now the fourth one is where I had to go through surgery. DNC? Yes, yes, DNC. Oh. That extraction thingy mm -hmm. because... It was stuck somewhere here. It wasn't exiting. It was not in the... It was Were you in pain? What? I was in so much pain. I was in so much pain. Like that Sunday, cramps, but now... Yes, like, it's pain. There was blood? First of all, it started with water. Let me tell you, I was in church. How, how Let me long? tell you, I, how I think 12, 12, 12 mm -hmm. weeks, going 13, 14, uko. <clears throat> Sunday afternoon in church, and I feel... After present worship, I sit down, and then I feel like a weird... Discharge. Thing, uh, not a discharge, a uh, weird feeling, uh, but it's familiar. It's and I'm like, I just hope it's not a miscarriage happening. I took the car keys, went to the car, stayed there for a while. I started praying, and I'm like, God, let it not be it. Mm. Went back to Ikaisha uh, and Karudi. When I'm in the in the in the in church again, I feel it. I'm like, okay, let me just go rest in the car, change my shoes. I was wearing high heels, and I could change there too, and now stayed there. Then I felt some discharge coming out, and I'm like, wait. Am I pressed? I'm peeing on myself because it wasn't blood. It's now like waterish stuff coming out. I'm like, okay. Um, called my husband. Call Curtis, please come. There's something happening. We need to go to the doctor. At least he was close by where the church was. Like we can easily walk. But we took the car. I remember because the church has, the, um, that hospital has a church within itself, within the compound. When we were driving in and, and the gestures was coming out too much, I was holding. Somebody, you hold your pee so mm -hmm. that nothing can, comes out. And I'm and like, nothing. I can you control can't it. it. You know, I can control it like pee. Please don't come out until I see the doctor. Yo. First of all, just getting out of the car. The parking was full. Katy said to drop me close to the um, entrance. And, and then my friend, we went with my friend as his, he finds parking. Getting in, I was like, can I see a gynecologist? No, 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 he's not in today. You know, it's a Sunday. Um, but we'll call him because he's my doctor. So they called him. And these nurses are just, you know, just mm -hmm. going about their business. And I'm like, guys, I had to shout for them to mm -hmm. see the attention that I need. I'm going, I think I'm going through, I didn't say like I am. I, said, I think I'm going through a miscarriage. Wait, what? So they took me to like a small room, mm -hmm. put me on a bed, and I'm in so much pain, they had to do me dawa. Because I'm like, I can't handle this. Mm -hmm. So a doctor was called, a general uh, doctor, a kareka dawa, that drip thingy. I hate that thing for you. Mm -hmm. All the time. <laughs> After when I'm going to give birth, I don't like that, and I know. So now, when I was undressing, now I could see those stuff hanging. I'm like, it's like the sack, the sack, yes. It's now water. I completely my so jeans sorry. are soaked. Yee. Completely soaked in water. No blood yet. Soaked in water. And then now when you're removing your underwears and everything, I can see the the stuff hanging. I was like, yo, I even told my friend, Can you see what I'm seeing? It's She's so like, scary. Yeah. I was like, Oh my god. So got on the bed. Then she came, a nurse came, she cleaned me up. I was waiting for the guy not to come, and then the guy not came. I was wheeled to his office. It's like, okay, lie here. He did a scan, couldn't see anything, but I'm in so much pain. So this sub tongue thing is, it's like a spoon. Mm. I had to insert it. To open it. Ooh, and yes, and then pulled out some. I know it's so gross. <laughs> it's so bloody, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> so pulled out, and then I saw some chunks of it. Okay, I think you, everything is stuck there. Since this is big enough, we can't easily go through it naturally. And then the pain they're in, I have to take you for the DNC. So I remember going in, into the theater, and um, the last thing I remember is him. I don't know what he was asking me, and then I was out. Mm -hmm. The next thing, I was in the ward, and then Katis was there. My friends were there. And yeah, after same that. Same day. Same day. Same day. So Sunday. Sun, Sunday, 3, 4 p.m. Process. How could I go process? What just happened? I remember my friend going to her mom's house to get me her dera and underwear. You know, at least she had new underwear in her house. Underwear to completely change my clothes. Ooh. And I'm like, what is this? So, it's interesting. I keep on saying that word. <laughs> what cat's <laughs> host? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, what I is that? Know. No time to process. Yeah. Unapatio um, to madau, tambe ukuja badai, you know, for then continuous check checkups. Who oh my? But at least they removed the heavy. most of it. That is heavy. That is very heavy. And then a week later, I'm like, so I think after that, I asked him, so could you do tests probably and tell me what caused the miscarriage? Mm. It's like, no, no, no. We just dispose of the tissue. <laughs> so it's the fact that they call it tissue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. you know, someone's baby. Yeah. Okay, I know. But what doctor did to Pia? But for okay. me, it was a lack of sensitivity. 
Ooh, in that we, we are going to go talk about yeah. the lack of sensitivity. Yeah. But in a but, short, yeah. in a nutshell, yeah. that has been my experience. Ooh, I am. I, am. I, I want journey. to hug you. No. Come, 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 oh, come, thank come. you. I've never hugged you because of that you. one. But oh, that, yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. That's really heavy. Thank I'm you. feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> For my Ooh. experience, mm-hmm. it was... I knew I was pregnant. I was, I was not planning though to be. Yeah. But when I got pregnant, I was so happy. We just I had just started living together. And then we had even moved houses Aww. to now go to oh, one that can accommodate a baby. a baby, like a bigger space. And then I, I don't, I was okay. Mm-hmm. Until when I said, let me go for my first checkup. No, you, I was waiting for the weeks to pass so that I can go when there's mm-hmm. something. Yeah? So week, I think eight, nine is when I went because I was trying to align my appointment with dance schedule. Yeah. Then we go and hey, 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 I remember that hospital. Hey, people are convinced. Anyway, so we do the <laughs> scan and I told them, take for me a video. Oh so my God. I see the you? heartbeat. Oh, and then she checks. And she checks. Mm. You need stop her. Yeah. She checks and Sorry, checks and checks. And, checks mm-hmm. and she's not finding any heartbeats. And uh, she just told me, um, go, uh, I can't see a heartbeat. Can you maybe go pee? We do a transvaginal yeah. scan. scan. So I'm already shivering. I go, oh. I pee. Before that, Mimi Nishawa is here, miscarriage, nini, nini. Yes, on paper. Do I think it will happen to no, me? Of no, of course not. We do the transvaginal and still there's no heartbeat. Yani, my heart just shattered. And she just said, I think you have, we've had a miscarriage. And uh, after that, we were told, uh, we went to see the doctor and the doctor was like, um, ah, okay, everything on paper looked fine. My hormones, fine. Everything. 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 Yeah. So, Akasema, uh, let me check the the scan. I've never forgotten. I was like, so that is the msema kweli. So every hope I had. All that vanished. And he's like, don't worry. Um, we have to, you have to come back after a week so that we, ca- we are sure. Mm. So this could be a missed miscarriage. Mm. That's what they call it. But on yeah. paper, they write what? Missed abortion. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, they do call it abortion. I, I swear, I, I saw, saw it that too. paper and I cried yes. more. Because oh, yes, what are you abo- saying? Oh, yes. I remember. What are you saying? <laughs> I remember. And I remember yeah. that week having to act normal, go to work. Go for events. I even have a photo where I went. Yeah, you're supposed to act okay. I mean, we are going to confirm for with you in a week. I remember the journey home crying. Then I remember now that week when I was at work and then I started sporting. And then I told Dan, okay, I think it's happening. Let's go to hospital. So, because after in the middle of that, we changed gainers. Yeah. So now when we went to, we were changing, we were going to the new Ghana because I was like, me, I don't want to handle this Just hospital because yeah. I don't like how they are breaking the news, like lack of sensitivity. And I in evil too. So when I changed the Ghana, we go, we were oh. me and Dr. Jemima is a Ghana online also. She was a student at that time of the Ghana, and he just says, uh, he just does the scan and he's like, yeah, uh, there's no heartbeat. I'm going to give you a minute to process and then we can talk. Hey. Woo. We sat in that room. We prayed. Me, I'm already crying. Ah, and then we went to the. We prayed. By the year, we prayed with jo- Dr. Jemima. And then we went. Then we were told we were going to have surgery. Okay. And then we went for the surgery the next day. The DNC. The DNC, yes. Yeah. And I remember just entering, being wheeled into surgery. I was okay in the morning. It's like I was still in a lot of denial. Yeah, yeah. Your, your body knows, your mind has a way of defending Yes, itself. so I was just okay until we went for surgery. I only cried after surgery. Like, yeah. broke down. Yeah. Tears, everything yeah. came after. I was like, what? Like, I was heartbroken. Completely yeah. heartbroken. Yeah. And I think those are the things I wanted us to talk. What mm. people don't see. Yeah. Like, what, you, what happened that you didn't expect? What you did like? Just mm. those, ha, what was the hardest part? Mm. You know, how it affects you as a human being from there because <laughs> it, it feels, when, when you go through it, now you learn about more people who've yeah. gone through it. But before, but before you are just 
It can't happen to me. It can't happen to me. It, mm. It's funny you say that because even before, by the time we were shooting that video, because you can also link the, the similar video. Yeah. By the time we were shooting, it was like years after. Um, why? Because also we are giving ourselves that healing. Yes. Period. And you guys took us through the yeah, process of remember. pregnancy. Yes, and throughout pregnancy. watching, I was like, why are people yeah. having it so easy? <laughs> yeah, and I remember yeah. the episode for the miscarriage. was like, like, wait, it happened. Yes. And that's why we had to do it like that. Because we... Again, the Process. society expectation of you announce you're pregnant. Yeah. Baby and then everybody's shower. having baby shower. And then all of a sudden, there's nothing to show for yeah. it. Yeah. You know. Uh, for me, that made it, like, we have to go through this process in a very private way. Mm. Because also remember, even for the second, 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 second last one, before now, the, the major one for the surgery, mm. when the doctor said, next time when you get pregnant, the moment you know, don't stay, stay, stay at yeah. home. Yeah. You know, come immediately. Yeah. The moment you think you're pregnant, come. And I did that. Went for week one. Uh, your immediately. Check. Yeah, immediately. Nikaena, come on. Like, yes, you're fine here. Mm. You're dawaz. And everything, you go back home, you're taking your folic acid and all my stuff, stuff, your pregnancy, whatever's. Uh, knowing now, no, since I've gone earlier to the doctor mm. and I have this dawaz, I'm safe. Everything will be yeah. fine. Did you well, have like dawaz for preventing? No, 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 no. Another thing wrong. why I had to change the doctor. Okay. Because okay. this yeah. one, again, with the history of me going through miscarriage, yeah. he wasn't giving me anything different, yeah. anything new. He was okay. just like, okay, cool, I could have to do that. Yeah. It's normal. You know, they say it's normal. But how to, normal to does it be? Four times? I know, it's a lot. I'm like, honestly, I, I don't I, like how we normalize losing. Yeah. It shouldn't be normal yeah. to have miscarriages. Yes. I think, yes, it, it happens to a lot of women. One out of but four. It sh- yes, but mm. it shouldn't be normal. I know they say a lot of chromosomal dis- but it's assumption. Yeah. Unless they've done the testing to tell you, oh, okay, it's this and this. I don't know. I'm not a medic. I don't understand the process of identifying why you had to go through a particular thing. Mm. But despite them not having a reason, it's how they carry you. Yes. And how they handle you during that yes. process. That really changes a lot. You can easily go to a doctor because of how they handled you yes. or abandon them uh, 100%. and say, never, never, ever, ever, ever. will I step yes, yes. my feet here. I still have, I cannot go to that hospital. Exactly, me too. I can't, I cannot I can't there. at first. Hey. So the yeah. process was different. I think for me now, starting to, I think for me, I cried the following day. Oh, after surgery. Yeah, after surgery because I was now home Still, my mind hasn't processed mm. what has happened. Still high on drugs. Mm. Uh, then my friend got me home with my husband. Da, 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 then they left. Mm. I think the following days when it hit me. And I think for me now, I, had, I was off. I was on my leave days. I remember my, my immediate boss calling me and telling me, so you have to come back to work because there's so much work. I'm like, oh, I already applied for my leave. Way in Feb. Because mm. we feel leaves earlier on. And then... My miscarriage happened in August. So there's no way I'm coming back to the, to the office. First of all, I didn't disclose what had mm. happened. Yeah. I was like, no, 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 you don't understand. And so I had to tell her, I'm sorry, I have just gone through a medical condition. This happened. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And mm. then the following day, they brought flowers. They were delivered home. I was like, oh, so sweet of you guys. But the healing journey mm. for me is where now that was different. Mm-hmm. How I healed and how my husband was healing. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, because there are also two parties. Yes, there are two parties in it. Yes. For me, I was emotionally drained. I didn't want to think. And I'm like, surely I must not be important to you, God. You know? Yeah. You know, hey, but for that, that yeah. Four times. I, I'm like, I mustn't be important to you yeah. because why am I going through yeah. this? It really tested my faith. Maggie. Yeah. It really yeah. tested my faith. It does. It, oh, it, it does. does. Like, so it what's does. so special? Because then you look at people who are having be on social media. Yeah, I know. make what? you feel like everyone yes. is having it easy, but you, <laughs> you know, immediately I, I got pregnant. I followed all pregnant influencers that oh i knew follow 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 oh, no. so the process of unfollowing because i was triggered every, every time, time i'm on the app every time so even right now if someone unfollows me, i understand like yeah. i was triggered Dang. i hear you the triggering is every, every corner any pregnant woman triggers yes. you any crying baby triggers yes. you anything to do with children yes. triggers you because you're like that would have been me yeah I remember my friend was also pregnant around the same time with me. By the time she was giving birth, it was just chaos mm, for me. Mm. We're going to give birth around the same time. Even right now, her child is her, her son is older. It's like wow, 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 wow. I would have had a baby. Yeah, as old as your yeah. son. Yeah. Anything brings back those memories. It brings back. It those brings back memories. those memories. And those are the mm. things that people don't realize. It's not only the loss of the baby; it's lost hope. It's lost, hope. it's lost hope because I remember one thing that triggered me was planning my wedding. 
because oh. immediately I knew I was pregnant, me and my bestie, we were trying clothes, telling the people, please give me that one, oh, that, a design that will yeah, cover, your cover belly yeah, a belly. So my, because she's a doctor, she used to tell me it will be around here. And oh, so by the time you're, yeah, oh. so when we are measuring the dress, we are putting that in. F- oh, that was different, Maggie. I was oh my God. triggered. Even I couldn't go back to where we did the bridal testing there for the dress. I changed. I just changed. I mean, it reminded me of everything there. Yeah. Like we were planning for it yeah. with that in mind. So even when I was getting a design, I was just feeling so triggered. So triggered. Like it's life experiences that you don't know will trigger you. Yeah. I think true. we were talking about the, tri- the the challenge of someone asking you, how many kids do you have? Yes. <gasps> what do you say? I have two. No, 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 no. You had others who've never uh, been born, you know. You still have children in heaven. Because yeah. for sure, the moment you have conceived, because we believe that's a life human being. Yes, begins happens at conception. conception. That's a human being. I think for me, I was very pissed off with my husband in the beginning because he wasn't showing any sign of remorse any sign of sadness him yeah. if anything he delved so much into work yeah i was like am i the only one who's feeling this yeah. pain where are you in all yeah. this yeah. and i mean he had to be strong for me at that yeah. moment they only think about us in that moment yes that's they don't have time that's what to I process learned. their yeah. grief yeah. and for me because he was doing a lot of art projects he had to leave the house to go to mm. kokaran village because that's where his studio used to be do artwork i know i don't know if he hosted a master class at that particular time but just the, the thought of him living and going, you know how we even how know how to your blow them up? Continuing? How is your life continuing? You know. You, you don't know and how I to know. Even you don't know how to continue with life. <laughs> I know. Me, me, I don't know. I don't we know. We cry, finish, and then I'm we continue. Eating. No, I have to finish. And then it's how the world also moves. <laughs> Why? Is the world thought. moves and how many people will tell you, um, there's one person we move when we moved houses and they asked, Do you have a child? And they said, No, I just had a miscarriage. You know, the body still feels like. <laughs> so she kept telling me, Your body is still, you know, signed you the best before the hormones drop suddenly. Wow. wow. But I just met you. Yeah. You don't understand my story. Like, I also don't, that's not how I process things also. Like, just chill out, chill out. Like, the advice that can come after someone knows that, hey, you've had a, don't do this, do this, do this. Yeah. Did you feel the urge actually of getting pregnant soon enough so that you can, you didn't have, no, No. you're like, I'm I'm done here, not now. I didn't want to be pregnant anytime soon. That that loss was big. Yeah. Yeah. It was, hey, for me, it was, I I didn't want. I think my sister is the one who talked me out of, like, trying Mm. trying again, just it might not be Mm. nini, but I did not want anytime Oh, my God. I think for me, it's the doctor. I was talking about how my husband was processing his pain. Yeah. I think after now, I came out of that dark season, because I remember every day, the conversation that would be in the house is, how are you feeling today? Mm. How is your mind? You mm. know, I was like, first of all, I, I, I'm not interested in anything, mm. you know. After this life thingy, you know, you start losing interest for life. Yeah, even things you loved. The things you, yes, Ooh, things I just you wanted to stay home. Yeah, And watch videos just, of people who've had miscarriages. <laughs> I, I did for a while. No, I consumed true. that. Con- and then if you're crying me. on screen, <laughs> I'm helping you. <laughs> <laughs> I me, I was grieving. Me, I was really proper, grieving for like a proper week. Proper, proper grieving. Mm-hmm. I, I think for me, what really shook me the most is the fact that God never said, you know, as believers, anything or as human beings, anything that happens, because a person, why am I lacking money? Mm, the reason. I, yeah, there's a reason why. But this one thing has no reason. Has like, what is happening? Yeah. Why? why? Three, four, You know, when you're told you did, you had this because of this. Yes, because of It gives of you kind of closure. Now, imagine what a missed miscarriage does. And I'm not saying this other one is... We, no, we no, never no, even no, no, saw no, no, blood. No. Yeah, you never even saw blood. That is very different, you know. I, For me, you know, I even blamed myself that Sunday. Same. I said because I was wearing heels and I'm like, probably I shouldn't have worn heels today. I strained my back. Yeah. I strained this baby. We don't talk about and the, then, you know, this process of, of self-blame blame. for having gone through a yes. miscarriage. Even during that day, I was having my friends tears like, did I work too hard? Should I have sat down? Yes. You know, should I have done there this? That. I shouldn't have washed clothes. Yes. You know, is it? But I've seen women who are pregnant on yeah, YouTube doing their work. The, our parents were doing their work. You yeah, know, the I remember work. the thing I blamed myself is the other day I delayed eating. She's like, so, so you think you. So I kept saying, it must have been that day. Yeah. Must have been that something happened. Something. Then how do you free yourself from? Hey, self-blame? I had to self, get. Self. I, I had to go through 
my my Curtis actually called a counselor to come in. Oh, nice. That's what because I, I was completely losing it. Uh, there was no voice of reason that was making sense to me. Ah, uh, the more people tell you, yeah, oh, don't I worry. Don't and then the fact that not many people really knew it, apart from a few guys. And you don't even know how to voice. Yes, it. Yes, you don't know how to voice yes. it. My sisters didn't know. My mom didn't know. I was telling them after. Oh, cause this is. <laughs> I think after going with Sky the first time, I'm like, there's no need of me telling people that I'm pregnant yeah. until I have evidence. Of to course. Show so you that is the p- the thing we, I was going to say. Like it changes you. It does change. It changes you, you with your future pregnancies. pregnancies. You will not be able to tell people when you want to. Mm-mm. Not like the first one. Mm-mm. You will not be able to share that. Hey, until you are sure. Until you are sure. But then you push it because you lost that six weeks. I won't tell people <laughs> at, at six, six weeks. I'll tell at eight. Then you lost that eight. Yeah, I won't tell them at eight. First time, Mister Siambiani. Second time, Mister Siambiani. Bad or so sure. And then you know because you've consumed a lot of content on loss, you you it's. It's in your mind. It Even is. if you've never lost full time, mm-hmm. it will still be still in, in your, your mind. mind. It's still in your mind. And that, you, that fear. I, I don't know. There's another thing. I don't know. If it triggered me mm. online some time back. I think the person, the way they were communicating the aspect of grief and, and losing children was, it's like they were putting, having lost a full time baby is much more painful, painful than you who lost at eight weeks. Mm. So it's like, and, and, your, and I'm that's like, something no. that's said. So I'm like, much. excuse me, so both of those children. So it's you know, so much. It's said, yeah, like okay. So my, I'm, I'm not worthy of yeah. grieving. Yeah, because, because my baby didn't get to a yeah. certain stage. Yeah, as like you can't, you can't put one level of grief. At it's you are worth of grieving a hundred percent, Maggie, mm. and you, you're only worth of grieving ten percent because you and, did. And that's ten. one thing with and women like, what is who that? reach out in my DM. I tell them, please go through the grief. Yeah, you, like you're allowed. Yeah, you are, people don't. Society doesn't give you permission to oh. really mourn. If you wait for society to give permission, uh, they will they will hurt you. The it's most. almost like you have to justify, but it was just seven weeks. No, but it was just yeah, it was nothing. It was a baby. There was a baby there. That aspect was There was a high. life. There, there was, was a life. life there. Yes. A life was lost. Yes. It's that. It's that easy. So but I'm also very curious how it can affect your marriage. Oh I think now it's the drawing apart whereby both of you are grieving differently. differently. And I, I don't see you grieving there. I'm grieving, so I don't think you're grieving. I don't mm. think you're carrying this with the same importance that mm. I am. Because you're not showing too much. Mm. But for him, it was different. His journey with his grief was totally different. Mm. If anything, that's why he delved too deeply mm-hmm. into working. Mm. Because it just distract. meant that... Yes, distract himself. Because it just meant that I'm not thinking about this. This is... Mm. Let me think. Mm. The only strength that I need is to be available to my wife when she needs me. Because yes. how she looks broken. Yeah, so, I have to be the stronger yes, one. Yes, I have to be the stronger one. Yeah. So... Anything to avoid that. So I remember our counseling session really helped us a lot in mm. trying to unpack our emotions and note your feelings and, and trying to understand. Uh, the, not really the reason, but just to understand the feelings that we were having, just mm. to define mm. what we were trying to go through. It, it helped. It helped. But the questions that, for me, when you're in a community that is small and people know you, and then they see you've changed somehow, and the first question is, are you pregnant? I'm like, why do you have to, t- why, why do you have, wait for it? Do you Are know, you pregnant? Do you know a how question? <laughs> a naive I was yeah. before? I would, you know, you expect marriage and then kids, and I would be quick maybe to think it. This day, I will invoice it. Mm. I've become, hey, me, I know. Mm. Don't just say, <laughs> pray, pray, pray. but Same I would, thing. yeah, but people expected, when are you, when are the babies coming? And it's something I really got a lot while miscarrying mm. because you've moved in. Yeah. But I'm going through it and I can't tell. I can't tell. You. And that's you. why you should be careful not to be telling it's people. True. It's very true. When are you bringing the baby? You don't know what they are going through. Particularly the moment you're done with the wedding. I mean, the next thing we expect of yeah. you is, is when is the baby coming? Yeah. And no one understands the journey also of conception. Because I remember now before conceiving our firstborn now who we got to give birth. It took such a long time, and for sure like I was convinced there's something. Of just conceiving, trying to conceive. It took, I'm like, where am I not getting? Yes, where am I not getting pregnant now? Yes, I'm in the car sitting here, mungo kidogo apo kama huwe. Where am I not getting pregnant? It's more frustrating. Yes. I was like, I, I don't know. Probably also gave myself my body time to just shed off of everything. Yeah, I started being healthy to see mm-hmm. if at least it can help me. You know, carry a healthy pregnancy. Went to that good doctor now that 
has been with me throughout my two pregnancies mm-hmm. that I've been successful. Mm-hmm. I remember the first thing that that doctor, when I went in, he's like, has ever, the other gynecologist told you what caused it? Kambia, no, have they ever done tests on you to find out? Nope. Da, da, da. I'm like, nothing was ever done. Like, okay, okay. Different doctors do different things uh, differently. But for me, because I wasn't there when you're going through, I'll just, now that you're getting pregnant, mm. I'll take precaution. Mm. So I'll give you these things because I don't know if it's blood clots that cause the baby to be yeah. So he gave me those that was, I gave him progesterone. Yes, platinas, progesterone, no, for, in, for inserting. Yes. I was like, yo, 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 yo. Aye. I was like, if this is what it takes Woo. to keep a child. <laughs> <laughs> Eki, you do it diligently. You do it diligently. Because the thought of loss. I know, Aye. despite the mess that those things come with. <laughs> <laughs> I did it diligently, even yeah. if it was giving me nausea. I, oh, really? It Progesterone did? Progesterone gave me nausea. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It made me so sick. Oh, no. Sorry. And then, you know, throughout, when I now learned I was pregnant again, yeah. I I spotted at some point. And yes. It, and I was triggered. I, uh, tr- <laughs> okay, I was just, like, I got so depressed. Me, anything pain triggered Because there was COVID. I was so depressed. I can't tell people. Yeah. I can't see the doctor the way I want. Yeah. And I'm scared yeah. of having a miscarriage again. Yeah. So immediately I spotted Hosi. Oh, yeah. Cause yeah, yeah and then I was given progesterone shots yeah. addition to the ones oh, for inserting. Yeah. Those things made me sick. But now I was like, I have to do this. Yeah. I just have. Because the thought of it, again... I just remember uh, your pregnancy. And I'm like, why, madam, you've gone through the uh, most... <laughs> There should be another episode on it pregnancy should, yeah, journeys. And then now I'm watching you, you're glowing. And all uh, Apple on a blue room series. Blue room series. Uh, uh, There's uh, always uh, light at I, the end of the tunnel. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's like, God, people have it this beautiful. Easily. Like, yeah. Baby shower, do what you want to do. Wanna chase wanna chess a game. Who may you have gone through the most behind, behind scenes? I yeah. think the other thing that I really loved during that grieving period is having conversations with friends who've gone through it. And that's what people don't have. We don't have it. We, we yeah. think so it's just you alone. Will help yes. Someone. If yeah. you think you're just the only one alone. going through it, no one will understand yes. you. It's very easy. It's, I think it was very important to reach out. Yes. And for me, it was my friend who reached out. I think my husband whispered to her husband that yeah. Suila has, we are going through this thing. Yeah. And they're like, wait, what? You two are going through that? Yeah. And then she called me. Yeah. When she called, went for coffee and just talking about it, uh-huh. crying over there, yara, yara, yara. Even her experience of the doctors and how they mishandled her. Mm. I was like, yeah, equally. Do even they you? all come? Yes, even you. Doctors, do it's, better. Yeah. So it's, it's not like there's, there was just a warmth of Towards relatability. Yes, relatability and yeah. understanding that you're not alone. But if you're going through it, it's good to find someone and talk to It's very to important. To someone to. with a similar... It's very important. Yeah. To. Don't, don't die with your I own. I remember trying to think, no, who has gone through this? Yeah. My sister telling me, oh, ata nani, ata nani. I'm like, okay, I don't know them. Because it's shame to go through a miscarriage. Yeah. There's, there's Until stigma. my mom said she had gone Are through a serious? miscarriage is when I felt... Oh, it's no really? more. It's like no pe- more. there are people in my circle who, who have gone, gone through, through it. I'm not the first one. Yes, to go through it. but I, I was dying. I was dying with why is it only me? Yeah. Why is it is he and consulting Doctor Google? My Google. goodness, <laughs> Google <laughs> <laughs> all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> me, I know even UK bloggers who have yeah, gone through, go through it. Through I mean, I was <laughs> crying with them on the screen. <laughs> oh. I, I was watching most of what I was also very keen on is did they get babies later? I was very looking for that hope. Yeah. But even through missed miscarriage, because you have no signs, I was looking for hope of maybe next week there's a heartbeat, which yeah. now you're totally crushed after. Completely, there's Ooh. nothing. Aye. Where? Where? It's, it's part of the process for me was hating the word abortion. I think that twisted my mind. Yeah. Did they have to use that word? Appa- medically, apparently. Yeah, it's true because I also saw it on my paper. Yeah, medically, they have to apparently threatened abortion, missed abortion, complete abortion. Yeah. They use it so bad. Yeah, I think we lay people are asking the medical society, <laughs> please, <laughs> please. Why does it have to be aborted? Let's, let's not. I mean, I aborted, don't know. I aborted. feel like it can just be changed. <laughs> I'm Googling. I'm actually Googling. <laughs> why is it why abortion? Aborted? No, what's the meaning of abortion? Yeah. And why do but they have to use that, it? That for me was that, that for me traumatized me. Getting yeah. the, the the medical slip and nothing me and equal evil. That's the me. one thing that made me think. Am I me? Am I it me? Yes. It <laughs> adds to you. It adds to the blame game of you. Oh, you see? Yeah. Abortion is a termination of a pregnancy by removal. Or expulsion of an embryo or fetus. 
An abortion that occurs without intervention is known as a miscarriage oh, or spontaneous abortion. So this occurs. Oh, okay, interesting. Still, but they re- need to redefine it. <laughs> need to <laughs> redefine because of what abortion means yeah, literally abo- in yeah, our society. Yeah, be. but what would you say was your hardest part about the experience? Oh, I think being actually pregnant. Getting pregnant mm-hmm. and then having to... To, to go through the milestones of every stage that I lost a baby. Mm-hmm. I, yes, I grieved. I did. And for me, I was like, the enemy, you have no mm. plan with me. I'm sorry. I'm going to try again and be pregnant. Mm. And then from there, now, having to wait for that six weeks. Okay. To you're Peter, told six to weeks. wait. Yeah. Seven weeks. Hey, you're told to wait six months mm. before you get, six you conceive. Months. Yeah. yeah me I was told, I think, months. two months. Oh, two months. Yeah. No, three months. Sorry, three months. Uh-huh. Wait, was that all two months? I can't even remember. Mommy brain, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> 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 I cannot remember. Uh, After that period, you are back in business yes. to look for a baby, and then you get pregnant, and then now having to get to those milestones. Let me tell you, for me, I couldn't do a lot of work when I got pregnant because I'm like, mm. I am not giving myself a chance. Ay, yeah, you don't want to do Yes, at any little ocean, you don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Oh, no, 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 let them say that you don't want to do <laughs> because uh-huh. of just staying in the house, but yeah. I'm going to take my own mm. precaution. Mm. I'm going to do my best to try and preserve this pregnancy. So for me, it's the hitting of the milestone that were very hard. Mm. It's like it's six weeks. Oh my God. Last time I lost that this time, mm. you know, seven weeks, like those milestones would remind me of the babies that I never got very, to, very to, very to hold. Yeah. So, and then after year 12, because now the last one that I lost around 12 weeks, which was second trimester, literally. And then that's why it was hard for me. I was like, okay, now I'm second trimester. Wow, to my Peter, first trimester. I think we are good now. Mm. And not having to tell people because I didn't want the aspect of, yes, you tell people and then there's nothing to show of it mm. after some time. So I just give myself and my family grace period. You will know I'm pregnant when you see the belly. But let's yeah. not have this conversation, you yeah. know, about, about pregnancy and all that because it's also very new to me. Yeah. So, but I'm, I'm glad um, the journey was smooth and walking it with friends and, mm. and my husband... And also with God. I was like, okay, I'm trying you again on this thing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Uh, but for me, grieving has never stopped. Yeah. There are certain moments. I remember the other day. It was the beginning of this year. I was crying like it happened yesterday. And my husband is like, I really don't think you have really probably Healed. you should. Yes. I'm like, but I don't you, know why I'm shedding this much tears about it. You don't. You never outgrew. Yes, you never yeah. outgrew grieving for sure. Yeah. Life, yes, grows around it, but... It's still within us, like, wait, 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 wait. I was grieving those children so hard. Yeah. You see, you still grieve, yet you already have children. But like, no, no, it's not about... But no one yeah. understands it. And somebody will tell you, you are very ungrateful. Yes. You know, for gra- you God has... G- me, I was, I, you have children. Why are you crying about the hey. ones you lost? Hey. I'm like, that's what happens with grief. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. So I think forever we have that scar of having lost yeah. children. Yeah. We'll meet them in heaven, yeah. you know? Because those were lives lost. And I constantly wonder, how would they have turned out? I know. Was it a boy? <laughs> was it a girl? I was it a girl, you know? Yeah, I'm how, so triggered. How did like, a mom is that your first child? Yes, what do, you, what do you say when you ask is that your it's first child? Triggering. Yeah, it's triggering. It's very triggering. You, you never know. I remember when answer. the wedding photographer was asking, um, any kids so that we don't miss them out on the photos? And I didn't know. Do I say no or not yet? Or... I don't I didn't know. I was yeah. easily triggered yeah. by small things. Mm. But people never see it. I think the first time I, I shared that I struggled mm. to answer how many kids do you have was with you when you told me you too. And I was like, Yeah. Phew, phew, phew. <laughs> and we almost cried. <laughs> like yeah. swimming pool, look or <laughs> just talking I remember. about it. I remember. Yeah, because you feel at least someone gets me. Yeah. At least someone gets me. So these are very necessary conversations, I yeah. think, for other women yeah. who actually don't and have. It's beautiful to work with other women who've gone yes. through it and, and, and like just keeping quiet yeah. and keeping it to yourself. And you ha- Sometimes when men don't know how to handle us mm. in that season. Mm. I think that's so the other thing for me that I saw that my, my husband, yes, he was really available, mm. but there are certain things that I wanted him to say, but he couldn't know how he to, know say how to say it. He just thought, I'm, I'm here when you need me. Yeah. Um, and again, you need the money, so he has to leave the house yeah. and go work. Go work. Has to continue. You know, I remember life, when Dan went to work. has to continue. The next day, I looked at him like, continue. you are working. Huh. How are you working? And yeah. me, I'm not. <laughs> you are working. <laughs> You're so and me, I couldn't them. work. Yeah. I just couldn't get myself to go. Yeah. And... Are there insensitive things you were told 
maybe wow were there insensitive things i was told i'm, I'm trying to remember Out let me tell you something about yes of course mm. the thing about me maggie is i don't know i might forgive i forget a lot a particularly lot. my my brain has a way of forgetting hurt forgetting hurt yes i know it hurts but i don't remember yeah. what exactly was yeah. said or was done mm. unless it's like two years old mm. otherwise like tambo i easily but i remember some of those things that were said that were really insensitive i think for me it's the doctors for sure the one mm. person that you really trust with this process professionally yeah they handle you casually mm. and say oh don't worry you can try another you can easily you can try again you you'll get at a least child. you could get pregnant at least you could There's Rolling that one. Eyes. There's that one. There's those insensitive matters yeah. and also friends telling you are you pregnant? Um I hated that question. I really hated also, that question. Also when you with you people assumed you were pregnant. Yeah. No no kuna kakitu you you can like guy guys privacy 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 <laughs> stay, stay there don't and f- that taught me never to, if a woman has not has not disclosed, has not disclosed to you disclosed. she's pregnant don't open your mouth yes. are you da, 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 you know you know it's it sometimes it's just good to give them time because also them they are not so sure about it or they've gone through that miscarriage and they're still hurting yeah. they're not so sure about this current yes. pregnancy i think for me fear really took so much mm. of my even pregnancy journey because mm-hmm. it's like guy other people are having it so easy you know mm. why me Fear. Yeah. Eh, hey, fear the fear that yeah. engulfs you after yeah. a miscarriage. It's, it's, it's really a lot. It's paralyzing. It's, really, it's paralyzing. It's yeah. funny that when I was having my second born girl, I was d- I got covid proper. Like mm. those ones for having to use an I've never used an inhaler before. Mm-hmm. I was given an inhaler by my my doctor was on call every single day. That's a really nice doctor. I know. <laughs> Every you single must day. share your doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uko, uko, you know him. Yeah. Uko dawa ya, yo, It's oxim- the same one I know. Yes. Oh. Oximeter. I had oh, to buy those things. Oh, he was my doctor. Yeah. Oh, really? oh yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oximeter. Every day I have to send my oxygen levels. Mm. Ikifika certain asema, okay, that's dangerous. Ikifika na na, fine, try to take her for a walk. Kidogo, at least fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't sleep at night because mm. of losing my I couldn't breathe at well at night. I'm pre- I couldn't everything I eat, chocolate kipiko I want to puke. I'm not if my fungana pregnant. Oh my god, this pregnancy and this covid, the symptoms mm. of covid, it was so bad. Mm. And for me I was like, god, I, I don't know how this baby is going to survive this yeah. period. You know, before yeah. not, I was not sick, but here I'm heavily I'm very sick and it's just not anything, it's covid. Mm. I was wondering is she getting enough oxygen? Yeah. If I'm suffering here, is she, I'm like, oh yo yo yo. I couldn't go to the clinic because again, you have covid and then restrictions. Yes. So all everything of mine was done from home, from phone call. Yeah. I was like ay 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 fruits it was such a tough time for me and I think it reminded me of the miscarriages that I had and losing now I'm you're like, so close to now so yes I <sighs> like Jehovah let it not happen because I know I can feel you yeah. I can feel you uh, gosh but we praise God he yeah. gave birth to a very healthy baby girl yeah <laughs> afterwards because I didn't God, eat a lot Imora. yeah we Imora came God. out 4 kgs and I'm like yeah. how and I didn't eat a lot yeah I mean mm-hmm. I really wanted us to normalize just what people don't see. Yeah. Just people don't see the emotions, people don't see how it affects you. People don't talk about how you move on and how life just triggers you everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. But for that person who wants to be there for someone who's miscarried, what do you tell them? How do you tell them to oh, be wow. there? I think just be present. Mm. Let let the person who's who's gone through the miscarriage lead the conversation. Yes. And then from how they are talking to you then you can also know how to come in. Yeah. Use a lot of wisdom and a lot of empathy because it's a sensitive subject, sensitive topic. Mm. I was having this conversation with a lady the other day like a month ago at mm. her mom's event. And she's like, "Sheila, I see children here and mm. for her she's not even a mom yet. She's still very afraid to be a mom. Her was a stillbirth." as is still very fearful and for me i allowed her to lead the conversations mm. with with how she wants it to take uh, the direction that she wants it to take i didn't have to you know i'm even just bringing my own experience i want her to ask me because if you're talking about you right now let's talk about you mm. if she wants to know an aspect of me she will ask me and then yes. i'll answer it yes. but i wouldn't make that conversation about me yeah. it's about her at that particular yeah. time so it just has to be a lot of sensitivity and and having the mind 
of that person mm. there let them lead the con- basically yeah. i think let them lead the conversation sometimes you don't have to talk about it mm. just be there just be particularly there. when it's very fresh yes just be there yeah. Yeah. yeah i think even for me i just usually remember my sisters being there mm. they were just i don't yeah. remember anything they said i remember them being there yeah. and even for someone who's trying to be there for someone don't try and rationalize why it happened oh yes that's because that's good. where that's where we I go wrong. I think it's be, yeah. No. I think am I it's because No, stop. No, it's not. Do you know one of the most insensitive DMs I got was that this was very spiritual because I had ever shared that the only person who shared the experience was my mom and I felt like I related. <sighs> Then this is generational. You should look into that. Sisters But the name was getting that DM I was pregnant and I was like The audacity. So what are you saying? The audacity. So you, wherever you are, you have diagnosed me. It's, it's, uh, hey. <laughs> I, I, stop yeah. rationalizing. Don't try and yeah. find reasons. solutions. solutions. I mean, not solutions, but reasons for what yeah. it happened. Just be there. That's Just true. be there. Just be present. Don't talk. Yeah. Remember, wh- one of the most empower- empowering conversations with mm. my best friend petrine the mm. one who just left oh yeah such a lovely lady yeah and she j- I, she just took me for dinner because i had refused to leave the house so she's like come come let's go oh yeah and then it's like the moment you step out it's like everybody knows you've gone through a miscarriage you feel like you everyone, feel like everyone knows. knows you don't want to leave <laughs> after i was going back to work i'm like everyone here knows and yeah. no No, I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> But I just didn't want to leave the house. But when we met, so, I remember she was just asking how I felt. And yeah. I was like, I don't feel like yeah. doing anything. Yes. Yes. And she was like, okay, just because she works with babies. And mm. she's like, just imagine your baby is looking up to heaven. What and would happy, make oh. them say, this was the best goddamn mother. Oh. Imagine that's the only thing that woke me up. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll look at it that way. Because I was like, I feel so defeated. Yeah. I don't want to do anything. Yeah. And to date, the journey of pregnancy scares me mm. just because of that experience the experiences like, that what you had if? yeah what if what if this is another test hey <laughs> <laughs> because also, yeah. yeah god much like the strongest soldier he does he knows he knows and eh? also trying to see <laughs> he does for <laughs> sure yeah. and for me the question was constant what if you see women with children like what did she do different yes i love for you meet someone who tells you me i didn't do anything, anything. i didn't even take supplements I didn't even take supplements. I didn't even take supplements. <laughs> As in, ay, 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 nothing yeah. triggers you. But you never, I, I never want to wish a miscarriage to yeah. anyone. Even to my worst no, enemy. Yeah. I don't that, want that it. Thing? No. No. Not even no. to enemies. Yeah. yeah. Even just the, the journey of trying to get pregnant in itself, it's mm. a tough one. Mm. So having, imagine having to get pregnant after taking a long time trying to conceive and then mm. you don't get to carry it. Down. And even the experience itself affects intimacy. Yeah. It is just because you you've not healed you mentally yeah. physically yeah. it affects yeah. everything. Yeah. People should give it so that when someone came with unsolicited advice of try again now. Now before your body forgets you are pregnant. I'm just, not thinking about it. I'm not thinking about it. I'm your womb is not ready to carry sometimes. That's why they give you time. Yes. For your body to stabilize once again. <laughs> But I'm I'm really grateful for my husband. He was yeah. really around. Me too. Yeah. Um, it's it's a journey that yeah. also probably that also encourage other people. Yeah. Include your partner in that journey. Try to in pull them close. Especially checking in. For yes, me it's checking, check in. checking in a lot. Yes. How are you feeling? Yes. How are you feeling? Yes. And I kept wanting I wanted to know how he feels, he but feels. he told me it was very hard to process because he has to focus on me. You. Because I'm the true. one who physically went through, through the, the pain and trauma. everything. Yeah. So the it's very hard for experience. them to start putting at now it's my feelings time. <laughs> I really hope it helps someone who yeah. really feels alone. It's mm. not the end of the world. You're mm. going you're going to get your healthy baby at mm. the right time. The right time. But for anyone who's gone through this, receive screen hugs. Screen hugs, screen yeah, hugs, like, yeah, I, I really, hey, me, it stops me to my track if someone said, I had a miscarriage, come here, yeah. come here, come yeah. here, I hug you right now, mm. because I know how it can mm. get lonely, it mm. is lonely, yeah. Let's normalize that conversation for Let's sure. normalize that conversation. Let's talk about yeah. it. If you've gone through any experience in the comment section, please let me know. Yeah. Is there anything you feel like you can want to add? 
Oh, Viv. no, no, no. I think, I think that's you it. Think, yeah. share, share, share the experiences. Maggie yeah. will also share that video of yeah. ours. I think now it's it shared in depth. Also, my husband's, the man's perspective yes. of having going through the they masquerade. Should have yes, that they should have that conversation. Yes, yes. Man, we need so, really, it will be good. Conversation. <laughs> yeah. It would be really yeah. good. It would be really yeah. good for other men and for women to understand men. Mm. Oh, it's true. Plus, yes. don't rush the grieving process. Take don't it, rush. Take it at your pace. Yes. See, at Lazima, tomorrow you have to be proper and, yeah. and dressed up and going. Yeah. If the feelings come, please allow mm. yourself to go through it. Yes. Don't push it aside. Yeah. yeah, just go through. Go right in the middle of yes. it. If you want to cry at that particular moment, cry. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I believe this conversation will help someone. Thank you so much for, for sure. honoring the call thank out you. of your busy schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. Aki, we would love to have you over and over <laughs> again. Would like mm. to also visit you there. Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. but yeah, please go check out their chat. Is your channel Soylent Cates? Soylent Cates, yes. Yes. Mwanze podcast, yes. Yeah. Just such a ribu. Ah, ni kwa letter to you. Wanini ata kubali? Wanini makubali? Makubali. Yeah, so go check out her platform, yeah. Soylent Cates. Until next time, I hope to see you again. Bye bye. bye. Share this content. Yes. Share it. Share it. Share it. The Wheat Podcast. Yes. yes.